In the last video, I showed you how to create a database, uh, a SQ, SQLite database, SQLite database using uh, Qt. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a table to that database. And I'm sorry, in the last video, I forgot to uh, increase the font size. I know that can be hard to see sometimes. Um, I've increased it for this one. Hopefully, this is a little better. Uh, so up here, I have the code we created in the last video. If you don't have this, uh, you can go back and watch the previous video about how to create a database, uh, and then we'll move on here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a SQL query with the, that I'll use to create a table. And I'm going to do that in the form of a Q string, and I'll call it query. Okay, and I'm going to use some SQL code here, and uh, I'm not going to explain it in depth. I'll explain it a little bit, but the purpose of this is to show you how to, how to use Qt to create a database and not how, how to learn SQL. Um, but the command to create a table in SQL is simply create table. And so I'll create table and a table name. I'm just going to call it my test table. And then we need a parenthesis. And inside parentheses, what we're going to have are the names of the fields in the table, the names of the columns in the table, and the value type or the data type of each of those columns. So the first one I'm going to create is going to be ID and it's going to be an integer. And then I want to, let's say, uh, I'm going to have the first name of a person and it's going to be a character. And so what this is, is varchar that's a character or string. So this field is going to be a, a, a string or character data type. And the 20 is the number of characters, the maximum number of characters allowed in that field. And so hopefully your first name isn't longer than 20 characters. Uh, and we'll do the same thing here with last name. And notice I'm separating each of these with the comma. And so you'll notice that each line is separated by its own individual quotes. I'm hitting enter at the end of each line without a semicolon, and that's the automatic formatting uh, that Qt is doing for me. So what I'm talking about here is this line is separated by quotation marks. This line has quotation marks. And I'll need to put an extra quotation. Uh, well, I'll just put a semicolon at the end of this, and it will, it will format this all correctly. Uh, kind of neat thing about the cute automatic formatting. Okay, and then let's uh, add in maybe birth date. Uh, and that's going to be a date time data type. And then maybe the person's weight uh, double. And then I'm going to put a parenthesis to close off this parenthesis up here a semicolon, this semicolon ends the SQL statement, and this semicolon ends the, the definition of our Q string query. Okay? And now I need to make an SQL query. So we're going to go to Q, SQL query. Uh, I'm just going to name it QRY. And I'm going to do execute this query in kind of the same way that I... Uh, executed the database open command with an if statement. So if not if not uh, query dot execute and then the query. Okay. And so this query dot exec command or execute command returns uh, a boolean a true or false uh, if it's successful or not successful. And so if it's not successful, once again I'm going to print an error message. Error creating table. Okay. Um, now what this should do is create a table named test table with these fields or columns. Uh, there won't be any data in there yet. But let's go ahead and just run this and see if it works. So first field.
and then run and we didn't seem to have any problems we got star end no errors in between and then I'm going to come down to my SQLite manager I'm going to open my db.sqlite click open and we can see I have tables here I have this table called test table and when I drop it down you can see I have ID first name last name birth date and weight and now from here I can select data from test table to select uh, asterisk or select star um, from test table we need to select everything from that table and if I run this uh, you'll see that there are no data values in here but it shows me all these column names uh, and so there you have it that is how you can add a table to the database we created um, I hope to do another video here shortly that will show you how to add data into that table and so you can have data in your actual database. Uh, thanks for watching.